Prayer purifies our desires so that we want God more than anything else. It makes us realize more and more that ultimately our hope lies in Him alone. It acts like a filter, cleansing us and sifting out the garbage that damages our spiritual lives so that we become not just hopeful, but full of great hope. And not only does it give us hope, it makes us ministers of hope to others as well. And this needs to happen. Why are so many people leaving the faith? Well, it's because they've never encountered real hope. Their lack of prayerful intimacy with God has left their spirit cold and barren. And this can happen even to practicing Catholics. You can do all the right things, like have the perfect liturgy, know all the apologetic answers, sell out of the 50-50 raffle tickets at the fish fry, whatever. But if the fire of love has not been ignited in your heart by the beautiful hope of life in and with Jesus Christ, you're going to fall away. You're going to be like the seed that grew up quickly and withered away in Christ's parable of the sower. The Catholic Church is going to convert the world when more of us have stoked the flames of love in our hearts through prayer. That intimacy with God can't help but fill our hearts with supernatural hope that overflows out of our lives and into others. The baptism plants the seeds of hope which need to grow and bear fruit in our lives. Fruit that needs to feed hope in the lives of others. That's how evangelization is done. 